We have two Davids joining us now. We have Dr. David Strubba and David Freiberg. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. And congratulations to both of you. We understand that your respective teams won first and second place in the materials hackathon that took place over the past few days. But before we get into that, tell us a little bit more about exactly what a hackathon is, David. So the hackathon is a 24-hour programming contest in which the participants make cross-disciplinary programs that apply specifically to materials science and materials science related fields such as education. And so, yeah, this, this is kind of an idea that comes from uh, like the co computer science community. People have hackathons about different uh, sure. other kind of topics. So now we have one for materials science. You took first place in this year's hackathon with 3D printed Fermi surfaces. So tell us about the project and the pitch you gave for it. And you actually brought a prop as well. I did, yeah. So uh, Fermi surfaces are um, uh, the representation of the, of the band structure in, in metals, which are, uh, and it's kind of a, a, key, um, a key property for conductivity. Um, and so it's a, a 3D surface, which you can try to visualize. You can look at a picture on a computer. We thought um, it would be cool to have an actual tangible model, too. And so this is the Fermi surface of lead. The, that we printed out coming from a first principles calculation. Well, it was good enough for first place. Very good. Now, David, your team took second place. PDF annotator for material science terminology. Tell me about that in your pitch. So the idea is when working on material science, it's very easy to get lost in the terminology, especially as, if, as is the purpose of the hackathon, you're coming in from a different field like computer science. So our idea was it would break down the technical terms in a technical paper and produce a glossary with in index and links to further study on the side of that paper so that you lose far less time looking up the definitions of all the individual words. Now, what is the time frame for this? Because both of your projects seems pretty entailed, but there is a limited amount of time. In fact, you don't have much time, do you? We have a grand total of 22 hours between when the fi first talks when the final talks end and when the judging begins. 24 hours total, but that includes obviously the introduction spe introductory speeches by the, our hosts. Every minute counts, and David, what, what's that experience like when you're yeah, really so working under the clock? Right, so you have to be really efficient with your time. Uh, make sure that you have a, a project that's actually commensurate with the time available, and, um, and try to make sure that as much as possible you can you know, find uh, elements that have already been made you know, for other purposes and then just bring these together to accomplish your project. Well, you certainly did. Our first and second place winners from the hackathon, David and David, congratulations and thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us.